The Diaper Bank is located on Main Avenue, BAIN, at Tenant Industrial Business Park. Um, they have two shifts, 10.30 to 12.30, 10.30 in the morning until 12.30 p.m., and then uh, from 1 o'clock until 3 o'clock. It's better to go in the morning because when you're packing diapers uh, for that two hours, you're in an unconditioned warehouse, un air, un air conditioned warehouse. So it's better to get it over with and get it done in the morning. But Jerry and I managed to uh, sort 1,600 diapers and repackage them. Uh, and for those of you who don't know, diaper banks are so critical. They're very critical for uh, serving as a bridge to families with working moms, working dads who have to utilize licensed daycare centers when they drop their kids off. A licensed daycare centers require a certain number of diapers. And people who are with limited means have been known to stretch diaper use over the weekends and after work uh, in order to be able to have an adequate number of supplies uh, to, for, their, for, for their kids to stay in daycare. They don't have to take them if you don't have an adequate number of diapers. A diaper is ain't cheap. So it's really important that we're doing this. This, this warehouse, the Diaper Bank of North Carolina has about 800,000 diapers right now in their warehouse. Um, they're getting organized. They're gonna be distributing those. They don't distribute them to individuals. They work through partner agencies and uh, the partner agencies identify and vet the clients. That's how they're distributed. Most clients get 50 diapers a month. Uh, and again, it serves as a bridge for people to do this. It's very necessary as we talk about access, uh, not only for small businesses, but remember, it's the people in our community who need access as well. And this is nothing more than an access point uh, for people who are struggling financially. So I appreciate you clearing that up. I thought I would be packing my own night. <laughs> <laughs> There's always that opportunity because they do have Adult incontinence. Yeah, right. well. so <laughs> they, they also they also have period products and uh, for uh, girls uh, in middle school and high school, and they're going to be distributing those as well. So it's it's just touches on a lot of areas. A um, couple more things I wanted to say that again we're going to be doing the diaper bank first and third Thursday of every month from ten thirty to twelve thirty. We need as many hands as we can possibly get. Two hours of time, easy parking. You can join us. We'd love to have you. Because I'm going to be there, and Jerry's going to be there. We've got one other member from the Charlotte Club who's uh, sit, sit, uh, she's going to be there. We need hands. Um, what was the afternoon time? 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Yeah. And again, two hours. That's it. Um, the zone has just started an initiative where we're going to concentrate on zone 33 and 34 um, with continuing Jennifer Jones's, uh, well, continuing President Dakir's, Shaker's uh, initiative of empowering women and girls. So Jennifer Jones is continuing that for this year. Um, I'm gonna be the, the district liaison for coordinating the activities. What they're asking clubs to do is really when they're thinking of service projects, uh, to think of things that can help women and girls because again this is an, an underserved population throughout the world uh, and even here in North Carolina so we're excited about our potential uh, district project involving the answer scholarship program which definitely benefits working moms with kids so uh, there are a ton of nonprofits that specifically benefit young females so let, let, let's talk Talk about them. Let's get them up here and tee them up as potential service projects. Yep. The more information we have, the more we can do. We can be selective about what we do and what we participate in. So just share the information. I think that's all I have, Madam President. Hey, you want to talk about Adopt the Street? Adopt the street. street cleanup. Yes, sir. Can another organization come? Yes. Help. Yes. On behalf of the road. Yeah, absolutely. You can come individually. Other organizations are welcome to attend. They're looking for people to pack that. That's the need. Can they work alongside our road? Sure. Okay. We can do it any way you want. Any way you want. I'm okay. happy to, to facilitate that. Uh, and just let me know. Okay. All right. We have six signups, but we can add more. Okay. So if you know there'll be more. Okay. Okay, uh, Dr. Street, we, uh, we're going to, of course, do for the 40th year or whatever year, cleaning East Boulevard. 
Uh, I just sent uh, Jenny the schedule for this year, which of course, I don't remember exactly what the schedule is, but we do it every quarter. I think the first one is in August, middle of August, November, January, and May, or February, May. So you'll be seeing these dates on the calendar. So um, we clean East Boulevard, for those of you who remember the impact block from uh, the South Boulevard, East Boulevard, that, that square, that, that uh, square all the way down to, all the way down to King's Drive at the end of Freedom, after Freedom Park. So it's, um, it's, it's, we have six people on a Saturday morning, show up at the Harris Theater <clears throat> at 8.30 in the morning. We have our good biscuits and juice, and then we do the street, and it's done in an hour and a half at the most. We just drop, divide the people up. So those are the two people who don't know. You'll hear more about this. We'll watch the calendar for that. Uh, the first one is sometime in mid on. Anybody in the sign of peace? It'll be in yeah. sign of peace. Yes. Anybody else have announcements they like to make? I'm not present anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, before you guys start reading, can you do that together? Yeah! 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 Uh, you're not done yet. <laughs> and for the next, for those who um, aren't aware, we do half a dollar to pay a dollar or two or whatever. And you, you get yeah, they're on the dollar. Dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, ma'am. Here, you want to? I will do this. All right, who's happy? Let's start with our president elect. Ooh, ooh. Well, I'm going to be speaking on one call. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm going to India this Sunday. Um, looking forward to it. Wow. Happy. I'm going to be going online. Yeah. Thank you, Marja. Safe travels to you. And is your family going? Yes. Awesome. Wonderful. Safe travels to you all. So I'm happy because my family's nonprofit. Uh, we had our judo camp last month. And at the last minute, we had to switch venues. We had to hire a caterer because they didn't allow you to bring in your outside food. We were worried we were going to break even. Um, and this is a huge fundraiser for the year. And we ended up with donations at $19,000. Oh, wow. wow. To cover the rent of the facility for the year and be able to help children from that piece of area um, go to judo and all the tournament residents. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, I put some happy dollars in because um, Joy asked me to be her maid of honor in the way. She didn't know it. <laughs> but I already said that. Yeah, wait, wait, you want to be entertainment? I'll throw 40. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm really happy. Hey, you guys. Engage. Yeah, you're doing good. 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 you are doing good 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 you are
just um, we went through the fourth, the fourth time of um, COVID pneumonia, the fourth time um, two weeks ago, and she survived and, and actually has made a strong recovery um, this time around. I just had to put it because it's been a battle, and now it's uh, on, a, on the up now, finally. And I'm just real so excited. I just wanted to share God's, God's good graces in this moment. And in October, I will be in Donna, going to meet family I've never met for the first time in my life. And I want to be there for 10 days, and I'm excited about it. So I'm looking just forward to it. I know, right? I know. It's, it's a little different. But um, I'm, they're going to take good care of it. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Daryl, by the way, is our president now in the meeting. Hey. Oh, thank you. Um, I my mother just turned 76. Um, Wednesday, my dad turns 81 in September. So, again, yes. my parents have been married 55 years. We wow. celebrate 55 years of marriage. Wow. And uh, I'll be going to Zanzibar in December, so I'm really excited about that. And then I get to defend my dissertation next year, so I'll finally be done with this time after that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yes. I'm delivering a bathtub. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I tell you what, you know, listening to all the excitement and so forth around this table, I had this dollar I was going to put in to just say, hey, I'm glad to see so many people here and so many guests and such excitement around here today. And I've heard so many stories since this started. I had to thank you. Thank you. Anybody else happy? Are you fighting over? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're announcing that our oldest son has finally got engaged to 40 after seven years. <laughs> and next week, her parents will be here in town, so we'll miss that meeting. But after that, we will be applying for you guys. <laughs> Now, don't ask too many questions and you will reply for your <laughs> You know, we've had that application teed up, I'll be honest with you, and that could be for the past year. <laughs> so it's already filled out. We'll just go ahead and submit. No, seriously. Thank you, guys. Hey, Brian, thank you, sir. I just want to give a happy shout out to my, my daughter. She graduated this past May from UNC Asheville with her math degree and a minor in psychology and she is now going to be teaching full time in high school in the UNC Asheville. We just moved her up in her room. So to come out of job and come out of college and have a job and be where she is right now with the merit, she she's she's my pride. Uh, consistently and I just thank you for doing that, sir. And appreciate all you've done for this club. Well I mean for those who don't go it's a great opportunity to hear what all the other clubs are doing without having to visit every club. Because I tell you, every time I come to a different club, I pick up one little thing that I can go back to my club, and it just makes us all better. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> absolutely. Sure. Thank you. Hey, chance. Joy, choice. Yes. Choice, chance. I did it. Oh, um, I adopted a puppy last week. Oh, okay. <laughs> and my husband didn't divorce me over. <laughs>
Uh, oh, you need this? Yes, thank you. Uh, my donation is for Madam President today, as, as um, Rosemary also likes to call us Madam President. <laughs> and, um, and for our birthdays, thank you. I'm sad that we're not going to be together. And, um, and yeah, that's it. Okay, great. I am going to say quickly, very quickly, that I am happy, uh, first of all, to congratulate my wife, Jenny, on her ascendancy as president. I'm very thrilled about that. I'm thrilled about Hugh and Barbara uh, joining our club. They are incredible repairians uh, who are very service oriented, and I'm just so looking forward to them becoming members. And they're tall. They're and, and they're very tall. Obviously, they're tall. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also, I just, I just wanted to say very quickly that my, my daughter uh, and her husband are um, finally. We're able to bring uh, the child with their acting home. Oh, uh, so, so we are we are thrilled about it. It won't be official for a few months yet, so you won't see any pictures on Facebook until it's until it's finally adjudicated. But we are thrilled that this is happening. Her name is Zora, uh, and we are. She's, her birth dad was like six six, so Zora's already. Taller than uh, Lindsay is my father. <laughs> so, it, it's just a blessing for them. Hand and lost their their uh, child. Who they went uh, through an in vitro process uh, seven years ago. So that's what So this is really a blessing. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Michael, if you'd like to say something, you can unmute yourself and you should be able to hear you. Michael, can you hear me? You guys are boring. Well, maybe you can come back. Okay. Um, we will keep an eye out if you come back. <laughs> Okay, down here is the part I've been dreading. <laughs> oh, I have to try to make this presentation and make myself look good. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to introduce you. Oh, I see you didn't. Okay. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Um, <laughs> give me a second to pull this up. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Minimize what? Never mind. Oh, I think if you put it, oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, I, I, have, not, I have not done the presentation, so bear with me. Um, <laughs> So, as I planned for this rotary year, I looked at three um, separate areas of rotary. I looked at Rotary's vision, Rotary's action plan, and uh, Jennifer Jones, who is the new Rotary <laughs> uh, international president, um, to decide what our goals should be, or what I'd like to see our goals be for this year. So this is Rotary, Rotary Vision. Together we see a world where people unite and take action to create lasting change across the globe in our communities and in ourselves. Um, can you guys tell me what your view, what do you think this is? <laughs> Anybody. Anybody. I, I, I think it's important that you um, choose to use the word unite. 
I think that's a very dynamic word. And um, when I hear that specifically, it just talks more about the power of many versus the power of one. And I think that that's a great, uh, a great concept. And that's probably strength of club the size, right? The organization of the size. So yeah, and I think it's part of something. And you may want to repeat because people can't hear what Angie said. Um, Angie said that um, she felt Unite was a very important. I can't take that out of my ear. It was a very important um, part of this statement because it unites us as a club and um, at, at a higher level. That basically, <laughs> sorry, John. I was just going to add that right is action for something doing. It's not sitting in the sidelines looking at other people. <laughs> And John said the United is an action word, so it's it's doing something <coughs> sitting and just watching other people do. Kelly? Um, I'll comment on the last section, which is um, looking at an international, having an international perspective, acting within your communities, and then you know changing as a person. I like the fact that it's multi-layered um, in terms of creating change. And Kelly said she likes that it's multi-layered. Um, it helps us change the world and change ourselves. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, I, I see it um, um, signifying what International Rotary had a significant part in, and that's the United Nations, the creation of the United Nations to do across the globe, to bring the nations together to affect change in a, in a way that is going to show that we are together, whatever it is that being affected in one nation, everyone should be concerned and everyone should take part in making it a positive change. So Rotary is the reason there is a United Nations. And I just want, that's what I feel and see with the next statement. Anyone else? Anybody else? Great. You're neat then. Oh, you're just protecting Kevin's stomach. Kelly's <laughs> waiting for her arm over there. I love it. She can get a slide. She's done talking. We're done with Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking, Kelly. We're done. <laughs> I didn't talk. <laughs> uh, I also want to say something on the word unite because everybody individually wants to do something, help the community, but don't know what to do. I think being in a group such as Rotary uh, gives you the platform to do better and come together and do so I'm very grateful for that. <laughs> Thank you all for your um, participation in um, the interview. I, I kind of feel the same as what you were all saying. Rotary reaches within you to help change you and helps you reach out to others to help change them. And the more more members there are that are doing things within Rotary, the more people we can impact and improve their lives. So I like this statement too. Wrong way. Wrong way. Uh -huh. well, I guess if you hit the arrow one way, it stays that yeah. way. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, through Canva, so this is a little bit more recent and powerful. Okay, these are the four areas that um, are part of the Rotary International's action plan. And we're just going to briefly go through these because otherwise we could spend the whole meeting on them. And that's me, my notes. So um, increase the impact, increase our impact. To increase our impact and provide even more proof of what Rotarians are capable of achieving and we have to be more data driven and by that we mean doing surveys to see if our numbers are happy, um, collecting numbers, how many people we helped, um, how many volunteers did we use to help them and that sort of thing. So that way we can get the word out more of exactly what Rotary is doing because otherwise we don't really we say we help people, people will say, well, what does that mean? <clears throat> and then expand our reach. To expand our reach, 
We need to include Rotarians in projects and events, work with various organizations and institutions, hold family-friendly events, and bring in more people with different backgrounds. Again, if we don't have the members to do the work, we, we can't um, expand and help more people. So that's basically I think what that's saying. Um, enhance participation and engagement. In order to enhance participation, we need to discover what our members expect, want, and need from our club. And that's part of what that survey is for and what our meeting next week will be about. We need to be going over some of the things um, that I would like to see us do and get your input on what you would like to see. And then the last one here, increase our ability to adapt. We need to continuously be adaptable to new ideas and circumstances. I think Rotary does a pretty good job of that because if you look at how we um, reacted to COVID, you know, we just went virtual and um, we were still able to accomplish a lot with food banks and with um, PC medicine. So there's always something we can do if we look at different ways to do things. So then Jennifer Jones, she is my hero. <laughs> I love this woman. Um, we knew her a little bit because she's in Ontario, which is close to Detroit, which is where we were from. And I think you got to meet her, I can't remember. I had to meet her at Penn's. And um, she's a remarkable woman. She's an amazing speaker. And if you could um, listen to her speech online that she gave at Broadway International, it was just amazing the things she wants to accomplish this year. Um, these are some of the main points um, to be more inclusive of Rotor Raptors. She's um, very, this is probably her top one, because with Rotaract um, being added as, as, um, as Rotarians or, or part of Rotary, we've changed, we've upped our membership from 1.2 million to 1.4 million members. And Rotaractors are energetic. And we, we uh, heard from a Rotaractor also at that's convention, and this, this lady was just amazing. All the things she accomplished, just as I think she she started an impact club, started an impact club, and then started a Rotaract club, and and now she's kind of judge's right hand man, sort of. Um, so there's a lot that um, we can do with Rotaractors. We did sign a contract to work with Rotaractors, and Taylor will be kind of our contact there because he is our um, our district rotor act chair. So uh, we are definitely going to have them involved. Maybe have one of them on our board and get them involved. And as Kevin and I already spoke about the Empowering Girls Initiative, um, we had done some of that already as a club with the um, what do we call it? Period with, with the period products. So um, we will continue that. And that was the diaper bank we could do more. And anybody who has suggestions on other things that we can do. We have information with Kelly. And the care and comfort of our members. Um, kind of what we're doing now, just getting feedback, seeing what, we, what you guys want to do, um, making sure that you are happy to be Hard of Rotary and shine a light on our projects would be to be better for you. We need to get a lot of your video, tell people we're Rotarians and what we do. The more we let people know who we are and what we do, the more members we can get and the more people we can get. So we'll go backwards. So this is my action plan for the year. <laughs> so I'm not going to read all of these because um, I'll have this, uh, have Taylor send this out with the newsletter next week. But these are some of the areas that I would like to look at closer. This is my the, my, my main goal is to um, to take care of you guys. Membership is very important. Our members' happiness 
and satisfaction with themselves and with Rotary are very important. Um, I want to be, to listen to your um, your passion, your energy, your excitement, and your and your um, complaints. I want to I want your feedback on every part of our and what we do, so that we can make it better. And um, the input that we get next week at the planning meeting, we will use that on the board as part of um, our our final goals. I want to make us a stronger community as a club and as a district and as part of what we're doing. Does anybody have any comments on this Jenny, if I could, this is the, our care and comfort committee does a wonderful job. This isn't about thank you I was about say. them. This is about a greater developing self development of of our members individually. This isn't a, a, an effort to supplant what Care and Comfort already does. This is meant as an adjunct to what the Care and Comfort Committee does. And it's it, to make us participate more in Rotary Leadership Institute uh, trainings, Rotary District trainings in general. Uh, so this is about developing us more as individuals. Yeah, I had that in my notes. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> it's like, I went over this with Kevin last night. So he's what I want to say. Jenny, are you continuing on as the district newsletter editor as well? Nope. Like, no, 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 you've done that. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, this seems like a lot of this. <laughs> no, I already said no district stuff. Okay. 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 And um, Jim Scott, did you stand up for the night? He is the one that kind of he is the chair of our Yay, Jim. Hey, Jim. <laughs> We have a lot of new members that can be concerned from here. Some of be concerned to hear about them. That's right. And we will uh, we have all of your news under our students from back BB and um Jim will get a copy of that. And what he does is he has the committee make calls about every quarter um to just see how you're doing and um Pages, but obviously we're going to continue working. With oh my God! Yeah, I am so sorry. Guys. <laughs> so, so <laughs> Kelly, this is taking her out. Okay, we're done. Yes. 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 The question on the floor is: What does the mean to you? Does anybody have any thoughts on the Come on, somebody. What does it cover? Yeah, this is to acknowledge the first African woman from Tunisia to play in the Wimbledon final. It's diversity, equity, and inclusion, and I think that should be honored and it's celebrated. Yeah. Yay! I need to know. Jabur. Oda Jabur. The, the inclusion piece comes goes back to me when I went to um, a Rotary um, workshop um, a couple of months ago, and the inclusion piece is what's sticking out with me because as I was talking to Seneca on the way here, I was letting them know when I learned this about when women became a part of the Rotary not too long ago, 1989, a little, little bit before then, like yeah. So the inclusion piece 
is extremely important to me um, when it comes to um, seeing our great women as our leaders and, and taking us forward in the future and making sure that we include everything that has their ideology about making this a stronger and more productive organization across the world. That inclusion piece, that's, that's what that inclusion piece means to me. The diversity of it has to deal with all walks of life when it comes to whatever country we're dealing with, whatever cultures we're dealing with, whether it's men, women, um, of, of any race, South America, that doesn't matter. The diversity piece of it, we have a lot of it here, in Mecklenburg County, of course, but making sure that we include the issues that has a, that affects all of our community and not just the sector. Um, the the African American community, for example, in Mecklenburg County, is not the only community, for example, that's needing assistance. That's that has issues with education or, or access to the good food, access to good housing. All of the communities have a need for that, and they have a need for Rotary to step in and help. So we want I want to make sure that, that diversity piece is not not just about one group. It needs to be about all groups because all groups need it, especially in Mecklenburg County. Just one quick comment. I don't think I'm wrong, but I think the very first woman to receive, at least in this district, was ever received as a member of our team. Wow. Wow. Oh, so that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That the first woman wow. uh, in our district was probably a member of this club. Great. Right. But this is Louise Brennan. Uh, Louise Brennan. Um, one of the things that I, I wanted to share is that um, diversity, equity, and inclusion means a whole lot of things. I think immediately when people hear BEI, they they jump to one thing, and that's race, mm -hmm. and that's that's fine. That's important. BEI is so much more than that. Who can argue that Rotary International is not better because we have women in our organization? Who who can possibly argue that? We are blessed to have women in our in our clubs. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it goes beyond it's culture, it's it's education, it's class, it's hearing, it's sight, it's you know how how well we are physically or mentally. It's about reflecting who our community is. So I I'm, I'm I'm sorry, <laughs> Um, it actually, I really like that part when you said put the family events together. I like to see our families come together because I feel like it's a lot of where I come from in India, a rotary club, you know, it was mainly men, uh, and then you had the women with, who were an inner wheel, so their wives were an inner wheel and the men were in rotary, um, and their kids were in road drag. So it was such a family oriented place. and. Everybody knew each other, and it, it's a group from that, and even like service projects. I mean, you have at least four other people in your family who can spread the word and help out, and you know, that just makes a difference. And uh, people get more excited when their families doing community projects together. Thank you, uh. Uh, another thing that we, Tim and I, have talked about with um, our team is um, he mentioned it a little bit, but getting people in who are have disabilities. Um, some of us are getting older; it's harder for us to get around. So we need to be more um, more aware of that and make things easier for us. There's also people with sight impairment, um, hearing impairment, who are looking at things like doing um, closed captioning commentary meetings are hard of hearing and can know what is being said and, and that type of thing. So we would really love to bring input on that area also, how we can include people with disabilities. Stereo. <laughs> <laughs> so this is also a huge. Uh, this is one of my favorite 
areas because um, I actually got into Rotary because Kevin wanted to um, host a Rotary, uh, Rotary Exchange student, and we ended up hosting three total. And because of that, I was like, oh, I like Rotary. And everywhere we would go, it's like, he's a Rotarian, she's a Rotarian. I got to get involved in this. So I did. Um, but this is the youth part, it's one of our favorite parts. Could we look at, um, because I feel like we hit a little bit of a roadblock with Whitewater Metal um, in our hygiene oh, project, yeah. um, since we have such a strong relationship with Sedgefield, you got it. could we really just try to switch that over to those guys? Challenge maybe? accepted. You have the responsibility for doing I'm that. Happy. <laughs> Hey, I tried the white water. You got. I, I tried the white water, and I got nowhere with that. You know, so welcome you. Open we again. also potentially explore Marie G. Davis, which is just down the road as well. Um, they're actually a um, more socioeconomic, more socioeconomic test area. Like Central has. I will, a, I will tell you, we got some issues with the principal. Oh really? Right. The middle so school. Do it principal? offline, but yeah, yeah, yeah. We have real yeah. issues. With okay. The yeah, yeah. Um, we were we were attending their um okay. so again we'll, we'll talk we'll talk online but I yeah but I agree Sedgefield is now sort of transitioning from the title I think it's no longer title one it's no, 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 no. And this, I don't I don't think Jenny is saying we, we should have a title one school we just need to have an interact club somewhere yeah and Sedgefield has been a, a reliable community partner much more than it might be an easy place to get a better place to get the club started. Uh, yeah, you have families may be interested, but maybe the hygiene project does focus more on yeah, uh, <laughs> on that area. I think we should try to, you know, because Jenny's got it up there. One of her goals is, is <coughs> we can do the hygiene product. The thing with the hygiene project is that now that we have a diaper bank that does. They're going to be dispensing product to all of CMS schools. And there's also a new state grant that yes. is going to give schools access to that as well. So that is competitive. Yeah, yeah, it's still extra yep. funding, but so it now interact. I, I for some reason thought interact was, was high school, but it goes all the way down to middle school as well. Middle school, okay. Yeah. Twelve to eighteen. Okay. Yeah, so, we actually had an interact club here for a year. Uh, just before COVID. Just before COVID, and the um, it was IMAC. IMAC, and the counselor there was a Rotary Exchange student, and she was there. I don't. Is she a teacher or a counselor? She was a teacher. She was yeah. a teacher, right, but right. she moved away right around COVID time, and we just kind of lost contact with them. And they were a little further out, so we would like to get some more in the Dover area since we are Dover, and we are looking at such field, and we brought it up to them, but we haven't. Um, but I do want your input on, on these things or any other things that you think we can do for you and for empowering girls in particular. <coughs> we we actually got to meet Sophia in person at um, Pam's um, installation, and she is just a little sweetheart, and everybody seems to love her. And so I want us to. Contact with her, whether she sent her things, mail her things, you know, get on Facebook with her, um, try to get her on a Zoom call, but just to make sure she knows that we're supportive of her. And um, the Charlotte Club is sponsoring an incoming for exchange student, and um, I would like maybe for us to partner with them a little bit about just taking the exchange student. We're going here with or, or we can do something just keep those things in mind. Um, you know, you don't have to take pictures, I have to sit with that <laughs> But that's fine too. We got research to do tonight. Ah. <laughs> I'm just trying to, trying to get it here. Stealing, you. stealing for <laughs> you. And then the last thing, how many did I? Uh, you got about two minutes. Oh, really? <laughs> well, this one is quick. Um, 
really just again what I was saying earlier about telling our story. Um, we want to expand all of these. I recruited Rebecca. Rebecca, stand up. Yay, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> will lead our challenge in um, the PR department. She's um, very familiar with, with social media. Her and Davis will be working on that. We have Taylor who will be helping with doing the newsletter. Um, including, you know that Taylor because it was in the newsletter. <laughs> <laughs> Expanding our, um, our communication within the newsletter. We need to get things to the district newsletter that John Tabor is taking that over. Thank goodness. Um, uh, the things on our website. I am doing the website. Anyone wants to take that over? I would be willing to give that up. Do videos. We can do some videos like, hey, I'm so and so, and this is why I do rotary. We can post things on our website or on Facebook. Whatever. So there's a lot of ideas I'd like to try to get the word out. Jennifer Jones and her husband are going to be traveling to different areas, um, highlighting different rotary clubs and things that they're doing. So I want to do things that I want to do. Jane, if, if one of our members lives in, in Dilworth, is there a possibility that we could possibly sponsor one of the Dilworth Midworth meetings and show up as a Rory, have our, a Rory something, whatever, up and introduce ourselves to the Midworth Association and yeah, yeah. like, sponsor David, the meeting? David, is that There's two of us now. The choice lives there as well. She lives in okay. Dilworth as well. Ah. What we've done is we, 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 I used to go to a meeting a long time ago. Um, and we, 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 we have a, a relationship, and, and I think Kevin's gone. Kevin's gone. Kevin's gone. Kevin's gone. So it's a possibility. Yeah, yeah. We're, and we're actually we're having a conversation. Okay. And that's what we want to do, and what you want to do. Exactly. And we, we, we no. No. <laughs> 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 unofficial like <laughs> mayor <laughs> <don't work. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> We're also looking at advertising in their their news that we're You can um, you can um, get on their website and ask to get a newsletter. I get it. Are we have a week or every month or something? Yeah, yeah. We can get that too. Sometimes I have put things in the newsletter before that came. So it's pretty good giving you ideas of what's going on. I'll wait till we have our meeting. I'm talking, we can, we can maybe show up in force as a rotary and not just one or two of us, we show up in force at a neighborhood meeting as a rotary. So yeah. It's pretty <laughs> out of so, this is the, the kind of thing that I'm asking for. Yeah. 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 And I ask you to participate in any way that you feel um, excited to do and um, give me your feedback, tell me what you like, what you don't like, and help me make our club even better this year. We're a great club already, I believe, and I think it will be make things better. So thank you all. And I So does anybody online um, have any comments to make? I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, I think that is it. We just need to pass up the cards, buckets, um, and a raffle ticket. And oh yeah, raffle ticket. So who wants to do their round? Oh, yeah, I I'm not sure. 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 I'